All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I think is one of the most effective streamer patterns that you can throw. And it is, I think, especially effective through like the late fall, winter, and all throughout the spring. But what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually going to tie it for you guys real quickly. And then after I tie it for you guys, we're gonna jump into fishing with that streamer. And we're gonna see if we can't catch some fish. All right, guys, we are here at the tying station. I'm gonna show you guys how to tie this jig streamer very quickly. It's a very easy tie, so. And if you guys wanna skip a minute or two ahead and get into the fishing, you can go ahead and do that. But starting off with the hook here, I have, I'm using a B10S Kamigatsu Stinger hook. This is in size four. You can use a more dedicated jig style hook, more for like the slotted tungsten beads, but I do not have any on me, so we're sticking with this. And then for the hook, I have a 5.5 millimeter tungsten slotted bead. So let's get started. I have my thread here. All right, so now I'm gonna use some of this ultra wire. This is gonna hold on my rabbit fur strip here in a minute. Chanel here. Yeah. Also, just a note, I want to make sure the slotted part of the bead head is in conjunction with the hook point there, so the hook will ride up like this when it's in the water instead of down so you don't get snagged quite as easily. But here I'm just gonna use a black, this is a rabbit fur strip here. Just kind of measure it out and just about double the body of it. And kind of show it here and just kind of double it. So I want it to be about this length. Now what I'm gonna have to do here is Measure where the hook is. I'm just gonna come in contact with the hook, hold it there. I'm gonna have to take this off the vise real quick. Try to hold this so you guys can see it and stay in focus, but we'll see. I'm just gonna stab the hook right here. Just gonna stab it through. Just like that. There we go. I'm gonna flip it up like this so you can see. You just want to hold that down and then cinch it in with this. But I'm going to take this wire that I found earlier. I'm just going to use that to kind of really secure down the rabbit fur here. So I know this giant trout eat it. It's going to stay secure. Really just kind of increases the longevity of the fly. Now, just in just my own little touch here, I'm gonna add some UV polar chenille. Yep. Just finish it off here. And just add a touch of glue. Just use this zap again. The fly. It's as simple as that. This is a bit flashier version of the fly with the polar chenille, but just something a bit different. Just my little touch onto it. I'm sure there's others just like this, but there we go. 
as simple as that. Let's get back to the fishing. A fish? Oh, there we go. Oh, man, he's getting me in there. Brown trout. I'm not sure if I even started recording. Oh, I did. Look at that. First fish of the day. Oh my. On down, down in the water. He engulfed that little jig streamer, he's, it is gone. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh my gosh, there was a chart way up there. Look this real shallow. Oh! Dang! I don't know how I didn't hook it. Come on. Got him. Right from that real shallow rock just right here. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish though. Oh my Look at the colors on him. Look at that bright there. Got him. Ran out from that rock. Slammed it. What I'm talking about. Oh, oh yeah, see that? Yeah. Funny. Beautiful fish. So guys, all I'm doing with this jig streamer here is I'm just trying to find these big boulders like the one right in front of me. I'm just gonna try to get it as close as I can to the undercut of the boulder and I'm just digging it right along the side of it. Real easy, real simple. The hardest thing to do is just trying to get it as close as you can to the boulder. Oh, oh, I just missed one too. See, that's all you gotta do. But this applies to anywhere you're fishing. So any creek or river that you're fishing in, you're just trying to find the cover in the river or creek and you're just trying to get as tight to that cover as you can and just bring the jig streamer right along the side of it. This also works extremely well, like undercut banks, just trying to bring it right along the undercut bank. That's how it gets a lot of fish too. But just a little tip there. Basically that's all I'm doing throughout this whole day here is just trying to find boulders or rocks and just get as close as I can to them and catch some fish. Got him? That isn't, that isn't a bad one. Right up on that rock. That's not a bad one. Huh? A broad trout? Yeah. That's a long, kind of skinny one. That's the biggest one of the day. Not too bad at all. This is what William here is throwing. It's a jig stream as well. This is just another variation of it. You can see it has a cone head here, more of a sculpin type pattern than the one I'm using. But same idea and just as effective. So he's gonna throw this on and he's already caught one on it. So we can catch some more. Oh, this is good. Okay. Got 
Got him. Oh. It's a fighter. Not a bad brown trout. There we go. I mean, they're really predictable. <laughs> big one? You guys, he just got a big one. I'm gonna, I'll just, just keep it on. I'm gonna release this one real quick. You got a big one, guys. There's this trout. Coming in. Oh, shoot. Gooper flopped around. Just keep it on, just don't put. This is a uh, good hole for it because it's all kind of, it's all kind of open. Just watch, there's, there's a log up, up at the head of it up here. Oh yeah, it's a good brown, real good brown. Real good. Just keep it. Oh yeah, look at the colors on him. Keep it coming. Nope, I couldn't reach it. Here we go. I got it. Going in there. I mean, that's what we're after. Look at that guy. Ooh. I mean, that's a 20 inch all day. Dude, I just saw a mouth come out and I set the hook <laughs> and it did like those three back to back head shakes. And I'm like, oh my God. I mean, that is it. Guys, I just hooked onto this brown trout. I wasn't even just plopped it down in this little ripple here. Need to get it on the other side of this. Oh, there we go. Beautiful brown trout there. Oh, we got. Come on, buddy. I mean, the colors on these fish are just. Something. Something? Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. Might have just spooked it because I like I cast it after the the fish swam out or before. I'm gonna have to get closer. Oh, I see the giant. Yeah. Ah, it's not gonna. I still need to get closer. There's like three big ones. That's a good one. <laughs> there was like two the same size though, it looked like. They came out. I think that's the big one though that freaked us out. Definitely a big one, whatever. I mean, I just pulled that into it about as hard as I could. <laughs> I was like, I think he's, this is all clear, I'm pretty sure, in here. I don't think there's any. Watch, hold up, it's coming down. I, I, I don't think I want it to go up there again. Oh, 
What is it? Am I, is it? I think he got stuck in his doors open. Somehow. Like I'm not... Yeah. That, that could be why it's uh, fighting kind of weird. Yeah, it's... Oh, this could uh, pop off in any second. And it's going to be tough to pull it up too because I'm pulling it up in the... Weird, but... I'm going to be real gentle with it so it doesn't pop out. How does that happen? I don't know. Strange things happen when you're throwing a streamer. Definitely making this more difficult than it <laughs> needs to be. I think I can get it here in a second. It's just every time I start lifting it up, it's just, I'm just going to start walking down and then hopefully I can just lift it up right in front of you. Well, unless it wants to. Go over there. I'd rather not go back under the rock because I don't know what kind of snags are under there. It's a rainbow but, though. Oh, it's a rainbow. First rainbow of the day if I get it in. I thought. I thought it was a brown when I first saw it. Yeah, that's working. Oh, here we go. No, I didn't like that. Here we go. Ready? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Nope. I said no. I'd probably already have this fish in if it wasn't. Hooks so, are hooks so weird. Honestly, I'm surprised it's still on. Most of these just kind of pop off. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. I'm like not. Don't worry, 20 minutes later we'll get it in. <laughs> it's getting tired, it's just it's tough to lift it up. And every time you even start to take a step towards it, it's just, it just says nope. I'm starting to put a little more pressure on it now just to try to get it in. Nope. It really doesn't like you. It doesn't like you at all. I mean, it's like, it starts to get... Oh my gosh. It doesn't help that it's a rainbow. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Alright guys, so, just caught this 20 inch rainbow. Beautiful fish here, just out from under this rock here. Came out and slammed it. If I could hold it up without it disappearing on me. Look at that fish. Beautiful rainbow. I'm gonna get this guy released. So far we've caught in two 20 inch or bigger trout. So unbelievable day on these just small little jig streamers. So let's get this guy back. If you drop the net it floats. Okay. You good? Yep. All right guys, I'm just gonna quickly show you what my setup is here. So I have my Euro rod today. Now, the jig streamers can definitely be thrown on a streamer rod as well. It just depends on how heavy you make your jig streamer. This is about as heavy as I would want to throw on a Euro rod personally, but you can pick and choose. But this is my Thomas and Thomas 10 foot three weight Euro rod. And then I have my Sage ESN reel in the back here. And this is just paired with, I just have straight 2x on this all the way up 
to the fly line, so nothing fancy really. And that's all I'm throwing here. Let's get back to the action. Oh my gosh, guys. That's a bad trout. I was thinking it was gonna hit up further. I doubt it hits again, but we'll see. You can cast out in the middle of holes and catch fish too, but I think it's much more effective if you get right along cover and do it that way. Oh my gosh, there was a fish. Got him. Right from that rock. That's why you love her so much, it's right along the cover. Especially the brown trout love, love sitting on the cover like that. It's a good fish. That it all, come on. There we go. How dark that guy is, too. That is a beautiful, I mean, that's a good sized fish, too. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this type of video. A little bit different, me kind of showing off the stream or tying it at the beginning of the video than showing it on the river, catching trout. And if you do enjoy this type of video, leave a like and let me know down in the comments below and maybe I can start doing some more of this. I already have some other ideas of other streamers I wanna tie and try out. But anyway, the Jig Streamer worked wonders today. It's an absolutely phenomenal streamer, especially during the winter here when the trout may be a little more sluggish. You get right in to the cover that they're hiding under and you can just dig it right along it. And the trout, especially the brown trout, love to just come out and eat up the, eat up the streamer. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys on another episode of Harpin Fishing Adventures.